Hello everybody, I'm Lauren from the City of Greater Dandenong Libraries and I'm here to talk to you today about the Picture Book of the Year as selected by the Children's Book Council of Australia. There are six finalists this year, The Good Son, Hello Lighthouse, Three, Tilly, I Want a Parrot and Nop. The Children's Book of the Year is selected by unity between the author and illustrator in art and storytelling. And I think we've got some really excellent choices this year, and I'm very excited to see who's going to win. Now, remember, the category is meant for zero to 18 year olds, so not every book is meant for little kids. A good sum, for instance, definitely not meant for children. So read with discretion. Today, I'll be reviewing my favorite of the nominations, Nop. Nop is the story of a little bear who lives in a thrift shop. He's old, he's threadbare, and he's waiting for his forever family. When all the other toys in the thrift shop are bought and he's left behind, he doesn't let that stop him. This is a story of resilience and self-belief. It has beautiful pictures, a beautiful message, and a lovely ending. And today, we're going to be reading it together. So, let's just move our other nominations out of the way so we can make sure to see all the pictures and read Nop. Nop was not, not plush in places. He had no button, no ribbon, no scarf or spangle. Nothing to tell where he belonged. In a place soft with dust, he sat and watched crumb hawks tumble. Over the heaping heads of goods, old and rumpled, at Old Mint Stumporium. Every night when all was still, tea lights were lit one by one. There were others working quickly, all mending, threading, beading and bedazzling. They're very busy, making sure to be their very best. Buttons, ribbons, scarves, spangles, nothing suited Nop. Soon it would be opening time. The shelves jostled with anticipation. The bell over the shop door thrilled all day long. A crinkly paper bag for each, with some place wonderful to go. Every last one, but for Nop. So he watched the litter tumble. Until somewhere between the top of his woolly head and his new bow tie, a thought landed like a feather. A bear in a bow tie can go anywhere, someplace wonderful even. By morning, the thought was a plan. So with rags and tassels, scraps and string, Nop began to stitch. The wind stole around the heaping heap and it harried, gnawed and tugged. And then with a puff, as light as dandelion fluff, The great balloon billowed and the twine snapped tight. The wind seized the balloon and hurried on. Nop was soon a speck in the great march of clouds. He cartwheeled and looped, great breathtaking loops, over the jumbled rooftops for mile upon mile. Then far below, a pocket handkerchief of green. Nop held tight for a moment with a tufted paw and let go. He whiffled gently down, 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 down. Through the creepers, ferns and fronds, to the delight of just one big butterscotch orange, friend. So Nop found his place with a new friend, an orangutan. Isn't that a beautiful story? Everybody has a place that they can belong. And that's why that is my favorite book today that was nominated by the Children's Book Council of Australia. If you're interested in the other books 
and other categories for the Children's Book Council of Australia Awards, watch our other videos. And there's plenty of exciting things to see, to read and to listen to. I'm Lauren from the city of Greater Dandenong. I'll see you later. Bye.